I'm going to start on my back, my feet close to my butt, my elbows close to my body. From here, I'm going to plant my toes on the mat. I'm going to bridge my hips up off the ground and roll onto one shoulder. From here, using my legs and my toes planted on the ground, I'm going to push my hips out behind me, my shoulder and pivot on my shoulder, reaching for my toes. Once I'm here, and this is why they call it a shrimp, I'm shaped like a shrimp here. Once I'm here, to do the other side, I'm going to bring my hips back to my heels, turn here and do it on the other side. Here, again, bridging my hips up, turning on my shoulder, pushing my hips out sideways, reaching for my toes, and then back. If you notice, my feet and my shoulders never move position. It's only my hips that move back and forth. So again, posting my toes. If you notice in this part, my toes are on the black. When I do my shrimp, I'm going to lift my hips up, roll onto my shoulder, push my hips out to the side and reach for my toes. My hips come back and my toes stayed where they were. Boom. Toes are posted, elbows are in. I'm lifting my hips, rolling to my shoulder, pushing my hips out sideways. My feet are planted close to my butt. My elbows are in. From here, I'm going to bridge my hips up, up onto my toes. Once I'm as high as I go, I roll onto my shoulder and I touch with the far side arm over my shoulder. And then I come back down. And then I do the other side. I bridge up high. I roll onto my shoulder and touch over my shoulder. My head should be in contact with the mat if my hips are bridged up high. So my feet are closed, my elbows are in, I bridge my hips up high, up onto my toes, rolling onto my shoulder, my head's in contact with the mat. Hips up high. Feet close to my butt. Elbows in, bridging my hips up, up onto my toes, rolling, head in contact with the mat, up onto my shoulder. One side, and then the other. This is an important uh, warm-up. It'll teach us to roll our head side to side. Most people will find one side easier than the other. It's important to practice your bad side as well. For here, to do our backwards roll, we're going to put one arm out to the side. We're going to roll back on our back with our feet up. Our free hand is going to go over and go on the ground next to our head. What we're going to do is our toes are going to come over our head. We are going to look towards the arm that's on the ground and put the ear. So in this case, my right arm's on the ground. My right ear goes to the mat. Then I roll all the way back to my knees. I can use the hand over my head to push. So again, I have warm, one arm out. This one's going to go up by my head. As I roll backwards, my toes go over my head, and I'm going to look towards the arm that's out and put that ear on the mat. So it's here, ear on the mat, rolling back to my knees. So again, arm out, here, ear on the mat, looking towards the arm that's out. Arm out, here. Looking towards the arm that's out, rolling over that shoulder. So my feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. I'm going to go ahead and I can start with my arms crossed. I'm going to tuck my chin down. I'm going to roll into a ball by bending my knees and sitting my butt down. And I will roll backwards onto the mat as my shoulders hit the mat. I want to hit the mat close to my legs, not straight out, close to my legs. As I roll backwards with the entire arm 
palm down. The side you clap with hits the mat. My knees, or my chin's tucked. I bend my knees, I roll. My feet are in the air, my arms are flat, my shoulders are on the mat. My knees bend, roll backwards, shoulders hit, and arms hit. So here, I'm rolling, stay kind of in a ball as I roll back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on one foot, the other foot's not on the ground. Okay, on the foot that's off the ground, I keep it off the ground, I'm gonna squat down. The arm on the same side, so in this case, my right leg, my right arm is gonna be the one that hits the mat. I'm gonna land on the side of my body, not flat on my back. So here, I'm gonna bend down, and as I bend, I wanna fall sideways, keep my chin tucked, and my knees apart. Your arm and leg should hit at the same time. So again, I'm here. I'm going to bend my knee, and as I bend, I'm going to fall sideways, keeping my chin tucked. I'm going to hit the mat with my arm and leg at the same time, and my other knee should be up. So I'm here, here, this time I'm doing left side, I'm bending, and fall. Hand hits close to your knee. So the falling position is if you hit like you're sitting in a butterfly, you fall sideways, Keep the butterfly position and hit the mat. Like sitting in a butterfly, falling sideways, and hitting the mat by your knee. I'm gonna start with my feet in front of me and my knees apart. I'm gonna post one hand on the mat close to my hips, and I post the opposite foot on the mat. So if you notice, I'm leaning towards the hand that's on the mat and slightly forward. I'm gonna cover my head with the other arm. From here, my head comes forward and the foot that's down here is gonna come behind me. So I'm here, I'm leaning slightly forward, my foot's coming underneath and behind me. It should create a triangle on the ground that I can stand. So again, I'm gonna post one hand close to my hips, post the opposite foot, and lean towards the side that my hand is on the ground and cover my head. The foot that's on the ground, the knee that's on the ground, is going to go behind me, underneath and behind me. So from here, I lean slightly forward, I pick myself up, and this one comes all the way under, and I post my foot on the ground. This should create a triangle that allows me to stand. So I'm here, I post my hand, I cover my head, here, in this case, it's my right foot on the ground and my left hand. I'm leaning slightly forward. I'm gonna lift myself up. This foot goes all the way behind me and onto the mat. So I'm gonna do the other side. I'm here, this time it's my right hand on the mat. I pick myself up, my foot goes all the way behind me, onto the mat, and I stand. So here, covering my head, head slightly forward. Foot all the way behind and stand. Here, head slightly forward, all the way behind and stand. So from here, I'm gonna sit, I can put my hands on the mat, I can put my knuckles on the mat, either way, okay? I want my arms on between my knees, not on the outside, I want them in the middle. Okay. I'm going to keep my head up. I'm going to jump my feet back and keep my bottom as low as I can. So it's here, feet back, my head stays up. When I jump forward, my hips stay low and my head stays high. Try to jump your feet as close to your hands as you can. So here, heads up, jumping my feet back. My hands are on the ground. The difference is I'm going to bring one knee in the middle between my arms. One foot goes to the side. So I'm going to go here. 
and one knee's in the middle. Notice my foot is sideways, not behind me. It's here. If we draw a line across, it should be on the same line with my knee in my hands. And I'm going to switch and do the other side. Here and here, keeping my head up and my hips down. My knee is not touching the ground. I am on my toes. a position that's similar to doing a bear crawl. So I'm here, my hands are posted on the mat, my feet are posted on the mat. It's not a push-up position, my butt's up higher than the rest of my body. So to do the sit-out, I'm going to lift one hand. If it's my right hand, it's my left foot that's going to step underneath, and I want my foot to step towards where my hand was, opening my chest to the ceiling. And then I go back. And then the other side. Open your chest to the ceiling. Um, so if I'm in a wrestling stance, and my wrestling stance are my feet are about shoulder width apart, one foot's forward, one foot's backwards, my toes, my belly button, and my nose are all facing the same direction. My elbows are in and my hands are in front of me. I want to bend my knees. It'll help with my sprawl because the, the more I bend my knees, the closer to the ground I'm going to be. To do the sprawl, my hands go to the line where my toes are and my feet jump back. My lead foot side is going to drop low. So when I go here, if I do it slow motion, my hands go down, my feet jump back, and I drop the hip on the side of the lead foot. Here, full speed would be, here, full speed would be, so notice my toes on the line, my hands will go to that line when I sprawl, because it's my left foot forward, it's my left hip that drops. It's my right foot forward, it's my right hip that drops. We will start with one knee on the mat, is that front knee to drive all the way forward to the mat, and the back foot to step forward. Here, front knee drives, step, front knee drives, step, front knee drives, step, front knee drives, step. Now a full penetration step would be from a wrestling stance, here, I'm going to get low, I'm going to drive my front knee, and I'm going to step and stand. I'm going to get low, drive my front knee, and step. Get low, front knee, step. This uh, warm-up is important because there are times when you need to get up on your knee or on your feet and you cannot use your hands on the ground to help you. So, a lot of times you can use the momentum of rocking forward to come up on one knee. So it's going to be toes over the head, um, coming, folding one under, coming up on your knee. Driving your hips forward, you can get a stretch off of this as well. When I sit, my feet come back in front of me, I roll back, and I do the other side. Fold the other one, come up on my other knee. So it's here, same thing here, toes over the head, fold, coming up on one knee, toes over the head, fold, come up on one knee. 